Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our BMW Z4. Then I'm going to take you for a drive in it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a BMW Z4 2.5 23i S Drive, 2011 on a 60 plate. It's got £8,000 worth or there or thereabouts of optional extras. Has done 59,880 miles. MOT'd until the 5th of the 1st, 2021, and it was last serviced on the 25th of the 6th, 2009. Fuel economy, urban, 23.9, extra urban, 46.3, combined is 34.4, nought 60 time of 7.3 seconds, top speed of 149 miles per hour out of a 204 brake horsepower, 24 valve engine. Six months road tax is £165, 12 months is 300 It's finished in Havana Metallic, which is an individual BMW uh, paint. And it's also got ivory leather. So it's a beautiful car. As I say, it's finished in Havana Metallic, which is a, a special order paintwork. And it, with the ivory leather, it looks really, really beautiful. Um, it's my day off today. Not much to do really we're really really busy we've been selling lots of cars and, and we're trying to catch up because it's been so rainy and so windy it's been difficult to photograph them all so uh, first gap in the rain I've, I've come in to do this and it's worse things to do on your day often drive around in a beautiful car like this which uh, which I get the pleasure of doing so I'll show you around it we've got front and rear parking sensors high pressure headlamp wash xenon headlights the BMW kidney shaped grille, the really long bonnet, which is, I, I like, I, I do. It's uh, anthracite multi spoke wheels. You've got here the S Drive badge and the BMW there. Power folding door mirrors. Of course, it's a hard top as well, so you can use it in the winter without getting dripped on. It's, uh, it's a really good, as I say, real good specification. So the little stubby aerial there. It's electric boot release, there we go, but otherwise the release is in the badge there. As you can see there, that's got, uh, I'm trying to remember to take photographs of it with, the, with all the roof down, but I've got two camera bags in there, a tripod, a, a big coat as well, so the, there's quite a bit of room. Unfortunately, you can't really get at it once the, the roof's down, so um, you have to have the roof up to get your shopping out. Twin exhaust tips there and rear parking sensors in the bumper. You've got the rollover bars there, the mesh wind deflector in the centre there, keep the breeze off the back of your neck. Now for the good bit, I'll just take you for a ride in it. Wild. <laughs> uh, I'll just put the hood up quick. Unfortunately, I can't go for a, a ride with the hood down because when you put the hood down, the windows go right to the bottom and I mount two of my GoPros on there. And anyway, it's foul today. It's unbelievably windy, gale force winds. So uh, it's probably best not to anyway. There we go. So just start it up. So the, not the conventional key it's uh, kind of a just a fob that plugs in the dashboard you see the sat nav screen come up there radio screen information display um, we've got a start button there um, here we've got height and reach adjustable steering wheel and we've got power folding door mirrors car's got a really good service history if I can just read it off this screenshot 6th of 12 2012 at 12,309 miles Batemans BMW Cumbria 11th of 12 2014 at 21,652 miles Bateman BMW Cumbria 21st of 10 2016 at 45,714 miles Rybrook BMW Shrewsbury 25th of 6 2019 at 58,712 miles, Arnold Clark Motherwell, had a new battery then, 27th of 6, 2009, it had uh, 
rear brake pads and uh, this. So I'll just take uh, you for a ride in it. As I say, it's an individual colour. Uh, beautiful colour, beautiful colour combination. Um, I don't think I've seen another one in this colour, so uh, you're probably going to be the only one on the road. Mint inside, just as it's come in. I, th I think we've probably given it uh, a hoover out in, in the driver's footwell. That's about it. All the rest is just absolutely mint. Another fantastic car we've got in great specification as you can see there the uh, you've got the eye control here navigation you can have it full screen or I think if you press your op option there click on split screen you can that's showing you now what's playing on the radio but uh, th to be fair the, the full screen that uh, looks a, a heck of a lot better really so we'll have it have it like so and then off we go. Great sounding engine. I've had a few of these in my time. Spoiling our ride now. You can, uh, while we're doing this, you can, you can knock the gear, stick across there and uh, change up or down ups towards you, downs away or just knock it back in drive and then you've got the panel shift here and they're really nice very the steering wheel is very very tactile um, great driving position and everything is well it's perfect for me anyway <laughs> the size of my hands it's that's it couldn't be any better so it's a height and reach adjustable multifunction steering wheel We've got the all important heated seats here. And it's got a pretty good turn of speed, I'll tell you that. We'll get round here. And then uh, once I get the wheels straightened up, I'll uh, boot it. Here we go. Careful not to go too fast. Uh, that uh, that sounds pretty good, to be fair. You've also got uh, your selector here. You can have normal sport. Let's just see. So that's in sport. You hear it rev more straight away. Um, and then you've got sport plus. And I think, yeah, sport plus knocks your traction control and stability off. So... We don't want that. There we go. So, just everything's to hand. It's all nice cabin, this kind of dark wood. I'm not sure what it's called in here, but in Mercedes, the wood like this used to be called something like Zebrano trim. And uh, here we go. Now that that does that does sound good, it really does. So we've got Bluetooth audio streaming as well, Bluetooth hands-free, um, electric door mirrors. We'll just test them. Knock that over there. The problem with cars that have been driven by one person for a long time is things like the mirrors tend to seize up through lack of use. There's no reason to uh, set them again once you've done it, unless they get knocked. So, nice front central armrest here. Power socket is that USB, USB and auxiliary in. Got electric handbrake, the eye control system here. With front and rear parking sensors. This car has had a um, private plate on, and when the owner came to change it um, he changes his cars quite a lot he's an absolute fanatic only buys mint cars saw a car we'd uh, an SLK we'd got for sale on the internet fancied a change and um, and that was it so it would appear he's got his uh, 
number plates he has them on velcro <laughs> anyway one of the velcro tabs has come away and the the number plates just moved away and it's the parking center is catching or, or has got it in its view and beeping occasionally when you go to reverse or anything like that so we'll, we'll sort that out Uh, the vehicle is lovely I'll just actually turn the radio up the sound system is great we were... there you go the new James Bond theme playing off my sorry my phone there just make sure I turn it down completely and then you've got telephone there We've also got the menu. Let's just go down to settings, down to settings. Control and display, time, language, lights, door locks, software update. Go back. Onboard computer there. Journey computer. Gearbox is, apart from the engine note changing, you can't feel a thing. It's uh, it's a great gearbox. It, uh, this driving position does make me want to drive faster than I should do. And the car makes me want to drive faster than I should do because uh, it's it's raring to go. Slot in here. We're so very, very busy at the moment. Um, if you watch our YouTube channel, that's really, really taking off. We've also we, we're quite sure to stop. We're we're struggling to to buy cars to keep up. Uh, we do have a uh, part exchange valuation page on our website, GG Cars. Uh, you can get a price from us, and you can get a price from we buy any car as well uh, should you be dealing with another garage and you, you're trying to get a better price I can't promise we'll buy any, everything we won't uh, we only buy proper cars with full service history um, nice body work things that we'll be able to stand behind so if you've got a car like that try the part exchange page if you, you want to sell it try our part exchange page and worst comes to the worst, you will get an idea of how much it's worth, even if you're going to buy a car from somewhere else. On the website also, there's, you can arrange your own finance from our shop. There's, there's loads of stuff for uh, petrol heads uh, and people like myself who gadget freaks like cameras. There's links to cameras. We, we will make a small commission if you do buy anything but the things aren't any dearer than you would pay anywhere else. It just helps us run this channel. Let's just get around this corner. There we go. Kick down. And we're always behind something. There's, at least he's got the good grace to get out of the way. And no eyes change. It, uh, when you when you consider it's got eight thousand pounds worth of extras, and the car now is ten thousand pounds, it's uh, it's really good value. Um, thought he was coming through then. It gets away so nicely, and it's not too bumpy even though it's a, a proper sports car. 
just uh, letting it run away with me there, going too fast, which I don't want to. I'll indicate so uh, Melado's not technically undertaking me. Right, now, if I can just get this down a little bit, nothing behind me. Here, here we go. Boy racer. And then we'll... It's got a long MOT, so there won't be anything wrong with the suspension, but this is a, a good test. Can't get too far over, it's too much water. There we go. Yeah, no knocks. No knocks, creaks, groans. This is a very bumpy road here, especially when it's a convertible, because it certainly brings out any scuttle shake you, you have, any flexing in the chassis. And you are bound to get more, but with the steel top, when it's fastened especially, um, you stand half a chance. That's, uh, that's superb. Honestly, great example. It looks absolutely beautiful. The, um, was it? <laughs> I'm struggling for Havana Brown Metallic. I was going to call it Cuba Brown, which I suppose is technically the same thing. With the ivory leather, anthracite wheels, um, it looks a million dollars. It really does. So I'll finish the test drive here anyway. As I say, just remind you, please like and subscribe the, the YouTube channel. Uh, click the bell if you want to be notified of future videos. I'm not sure what's going to be next. We've got an X6 coming in. We've got a, a Range Rover Sport. Um, <laughs> which is beautiful. And uh, I shall be getting my backside in that. And uh, th so those are the next two anyway. So just all depending on the, the weather, whether we can get those videoed uh, and on the website. So see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. And it, honestly, if you buy this car, you'll love it. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.